Hey guys, welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to show you how to play part two of my composition Quantum Wave from the album Meteor Shower. Uh, if you see this video before December 14th, 2014, this very song is in in entered in a competition where I have a chance to uh, get to record and play some music with my hero, my favorite guitarist, Andy McKee. So if you don't mind following the link in the description and voting, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'll play what you will be able to play by the end of this tutorial. Play this. That will be part three. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, make sure you see part one uh, so you learn that part, but our tuning once again is D, G, D, A, B, D. Okay, and starting off, uh, we're, we are going to do, um, let's see, how do I want to teach this? I'm just going to go straight through it, okay? I was going to teach the bass line first, uh, but... Um, So if that helps, you can just rewind and watch that part over and over, and then you'll have the bass line with the slaps. Uh, but let's just go through it uh, otherwise. So we start with our index finger on the second fret of the sixth string, and then we're going to do these harmonics. Our ring finger is on the fourth fret of the fourth string. <laughs> you have to pluck the harmonics really hard. You want to touch very softly with your left hand, pluck very hard with your right hand and then strings three and two on the fifth fret. So you're gonna go slap, fourth fret of the sixth string, and then open on the fifth string. So. What is that? That is the 12th fret with my ring finger. I'm going, I'm rolling strings four, three, and two, just very quickly, like that. And then I'm going to the third string, and then to the first string. Oh, sorry. Is there a slap in there? There is a slap. Uh, right before the first string at the end. Between the third string and the first string, we slap. Like that. So now we're on our uh, ring finger on the ninth fret of the sixth string. And now I bring my thumb up to the fourth string and we're gonna roll uh, the fourth, third, second, and first string. Like that. And then back to the second string. So what we have so far is... Then you're gonna slap after that. Now the bass line is gonna do play the seventh fret of the fifth string. You're gonna do a pull off. So you hear that open and then you're gonna play the seventh fret of the sixth string. So what you end up doing with the bass line is a figure like that. Sorry. Slap, pull off, and then there. That is the exact same thing that we played here. We're strumming, or we're rolling four, three, two, and one. We're just two frets lower. And once again, it goes to the second string. So we have... It's the same thing both times. Sorry.
Okay, and then to end up to finish that section, uh, I kind of hinge my ring finger so that I'm still holding the sixth string, but now I'm touching the second string, then the third string, then I pull off. So I'm ready to start over again. So. <laughs> Sorry. And then you just go right back into it. So. Okay, and then going the second one, second part, you know. Uh, that's just like we did before. But instead of going up to the 12th fret, we we're just going to touch lightly just past the nut here. And then when you touch, you get this cool muted sound. Okay, so we're here. So it's the same pattern that we did before. We roll uh, four, three, and two. Then we play three, then we slap, and then one. So roll four, three, two, three, slap, one. That's what you get. This part is rhythmically a little bit challenging, maybe. There's also, we slap. It's getting dark outside. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys can see me. Um, so we do, uh, it's a little hard to see the strings there. I wonder if I can change it in the middle of the video. I don't want to risk it though. <laughs> Maybe I can adjust the light. Here. Uh, let's see if this helps. That's a little bit better. Um, uh, so what I do is I'll play, for this part, I want you to sign your fingers so your thumb either gets the sixth string or the fourth string. Your index finger gets the third string, your middle finger gets the second string, and your ring finger gets the first string. So for this part, those, are, those strings are gonna be played by those fingers. So we play uh, the sixth string and the first th string together. I've got my uh, index finger on the ninth fret of the sixth string, pinky over the twelfth fret. So we go six and one together. Then the thumb comes up and plays the fourth string. And then we play three and two. So the thumb's going six, or we're, we're basically going six, four, three, two. But we have the one together with the six. Okay, and then what happens is I slap after that. And then I rake up with my finger. Not very specific, just. And then I play six, and then one and two, or one, two, and three together. So that after I do this, the slap and the rake, I go. Oh, I play the sixth string, then one and two. So sorry, this part's probably the most confusing part. And then... Slap. I might rake up again. Okay, and after that, you're gonna play four on the sixth string and then seventh fret of strings one, two, and three together. Slap open on the fifth string. So let's play it really slowly. Okay, and once you get here, uh, we're going to be doing uh, some hammer-ons and pull-offs. Our right hand is going to kind of go... It's going to play one, two, three, four. And then our left hand is going to be doing some hammer-ons and pull-offs. It goes from two, hammer-on and two and pull-off, 
then hammer on on four, pull off, then hammer on on five, and then uh, goes to four, back to two, and then it goes to the second fret of the third string. So. The rhythm's a little bit different though. So I play the second string, then I go up to four. Now the third string, go up to five. So first string, hammer on second fret. Second string, hammer on fourth fret. Third string, hammer on fifth fret. hard to play this slowed down. It's much easier faster, I promise. <laughs> and I play four and then the fourth fret. Four with the thumb. And then I play the second string with the first string pull off. And then I play the thumb on the fourth string with the third string pull off. So we get kind of this. Okay. repeat the whole thing and then the second time around let's see how's it go all right got it we go now we're gonna go with the right hand two three and then I think I do four and five together. But at the same time, now I'm doing pull off then hammer on on the second fret of the sixth string. So first I'm, I'm gonna pluck the sixth string along with the two. And then I slide my, uh, let's see. Yeah, I slide my index finger, I mean my middle finger up to the fourth fret. I play uh, the first and second string harmonic at the 12th fret. Okay, and this is uh, basically the first chord of the song. We're doing. It's the uh, ninth fret of the sixth string and the eleventh fret of the fifth string, and then we're going to slide that down two frets to the seventh fret of the sixth string and the ninth fret of the fifth string. And, uh, and this part, we're strumming, but we're going to kind of slow it down because we're getting ready for the next section, which is has a slower tempo. So what we do is, uh, let's see. Just basically go down, down, slide, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then after that, I'm strumming every single time, but I'm sort of emphasizing every three strums. Three. I couldn't really see it in the camera. Uh, so you're emphasizing every three strums, so you kind of alternate between emphasizing an up and a down. So it'll, they'll switch, so. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. So once I get to that point, I'm starting to do this like triplet pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Section. 
So uh, that is it. Uh, I will now play this slowly. Um, in case anyone was wondering, this is called Quantum Wave because I'm a bit of a nerd. And I, I, I wrote the song and then was trying to think of a name for it. And I wanted to draw upon that the, this section and the next section sound very different. And I thought this section sounds very uh, particle-like, very quantum, very step, lots of steps, discrete, nothing's really, it's all like kind of steps, I guess. Whereas the next section, it's very legato, it's very wavy, smooth. And so I, that was my little thing. You know, maybe it's like quantum mechanics and relativity which somehow fit together, but we don't understand that yet, how exactly they fit together. So that's why it's called Quantum Wave. It's really deep. All right, so anyway, let's finish this tutorial. Uh, I will play slowly. Something like that. Uh, so here we go. forgot to mention that I slide at the beginning from the 14th fret to the second fret. I usually use my middle finger to slide. So when we do the... Sometimes I'll do a slap first. Or you can just slide. Either way. Alright guys, thanks for sticking through. Uh, only 17 minutes and a few more. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys uh, find this helpful. Uh, sorry, I, I haven't been able to do a tab just because I'm so busy with medical school right now. It's driving me crazy a little bit, but uh, hanging in there and, and loving it at the same time. Uh, tabs just, it's really hard to write this with all the harmonics and stuff in tabs, and I'd much rather play guitar than write music out. Uh, so thank you everybody that uh, requested this tutorial, uh, and I'll get the other parts uploaded soon. So take care guys, and see you again soon.